Dr. Raimondo came and we started talking about this agent, I was kind of excited because it was quite different than any other compound to activate PPAR alpha. The fact that it did increase and activate PPAR alpha opened up a new structural class of drugs. And actually, it was Dr. Raimondo with her colleague that did those studies in hypercholesterolemic hamsters that is, high levels of cholesterol in the bloodstream. And after 14 days treatment, it lowered the glucose, lowered cholesterol, and lowered triglyceride levels. And that certainly was exciting news to get and to start thinking about some other studies. I'm excited because I had a lot of collaborators who have proven its activity, proving the uh, in vivo studies for at least cholesterol lowering, glucose lowering uh, cognition effect. Well, we did a test to determine uh, the effect of terastilbin on oxidative stress in terms of muscarinic cells, which are nerve cells. To the bat was added terastilbin, and in another bat was added resveratrol and some other analogs, still been analogs, and the cells that received terastilbin improved the most. They were able to recover to levels of a normal, unstressed cell. Those were the results, and then we measured terastilbin also in the hippocampus. We were able to show terastilbin practically across the blood-brain barrier and goes to the hippocampus, so it reaches the target site. Currently, there is a clinical study underway at the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, Mississippi to evaluate the effect of terastilbin on cholesterol as well as blood pressure. I am very positive that we're going to get good results out of there. It's just really a good compound. I think that natural supplements have a large role in metabolic disease states. I think that increased prescription costs, uh, the, the cost of monitoring particularly, uh, and the general cost of being insured having health care leads, leads patients to more natural remedies. Uh, terastilbene actually affects those PPAR receptors, specifically alpha. Uh, interestingly though, in addition to a triglyceride benefit in animal models, we've had LDL benefit as well, which you don't see with the fibrates. So that's a, that's a very interesting difference uh, that would insinuate there's multi -ma multifactorial mechanism or what I would call pleiotropic effects uh, to the product, which makes sense because it has not only this cholesterol lowering effect, but an antioxidant potential that we're evaluating in our clinical trials. Uh, and so. Uh, the pleiotropic effects most mirror statins because statins themselves are anti-inflammatory and antioxidant in nature and so uh, this could have a primary mechanism with several pleiotropic mechanisms and that might be why it, why it works. We decided on the design of the study uh, to be a, a placebo controlled study so that we could find the endpoint that's the truth and it's something that with natural product research you sometimes don't get. Uh, you'll get uh, uncontrolled, uh, unblinded, or retrospective in nature studies. And we're actually going prospectively looking at forearms in a placebo control fashion. We're randomizing patients. Uh, it's double blinded to both the patient and the providers. And uh, I think that that's the key to finding out if something is the truth. Terastilbene has an interesting component to it in, in its lipophilicity. Uh, it's a lipophilic product which will make, make it able to be combined with some currently available over-the-counter supplements like fish oil, uh, like grape extracts, and uh, that, might, that may actually cause synergy towards antioxidant effects, anti -hypo hypolipidemic effects, or uh, as we go along, some of the natural products that are used in diabetes uh, to look at uh, glucose hyperglycemic effects, which would be very interesting as well. People will think about taking this product because it it's going to be a safe, natural supplement that isn't going to be interacting with medications and can possibly benefit several metabolic parameters. There's a really large population this could affect. 